Bills on third reading. Bills on second reading. Bills on first reading. Leaves of absence. Miscellaneous business. Leaves of, leaves of absence. How concerned should we be that we're back here because of errors, because, because of a problem, that we had to come back to do this again? I don't, you know, I think that it's certainly it's unfortunate. It wasn't something that we wanted to do. But every session we have veto messages that are taken up. The only problem was we had a focus on one bill. We had amendments that were the problem at the end of the day, where the, where the problem actually lied, not with the bill itself, but just amendments to the bill. And there were just some duplications in, in the lengthy amount of data. So we're back here. We're still on track way ahead of what we have been in the last 30 years in redistricting. And hopefully, even being here an additional three days, we'll still be ahead of what normal redistricting is. But we want to do it right. We don't want to do it quickly. We want to do it correct. And if had we been during a regular session, we always have messages that are sent up from the governor for enacting clauses or um, titles or anything. So it was it was an error. It was a, it was an error that was done in, in the drafting process. You know, it happens. But we're back. We'll get it right and uh, move on to other things. Is there concern that by amending on third again, you could introduce more errors? Well, the, the, the amendments have to be in obviously on Friday in order to to be ready on Saturday. So I think the difference is we're going to have we're going to have a lot of eyes on this and there's going to be more than 24 hours in advance to, for people to actually look at this, come up with with any possible conflicts that there might be and then move forward from there. It's not going to be a thing where you're waiting on the floor for the 200 No, no, that's not the that's and that was that was something that was that was unfortunate that happened the last time, but we try in, in order to try to accommodate the membership, we did that, but that's certainly I don't see that as being the case this time. We're trying to do it all well in advance. Are you, are you concerned you about court challenges for this? Yeah, you know, there's always the possibility of that with any redistricting, but not with what we're doing now. I, I think that that's something that would be up to the courts to, to make a determination of. No changes? Well, I think that there's, they're still having some discussions on that, but obviously it, right now I think it's set up as four and three, and unless something changes amongst their delegation, I, I anticipate that it would remain four and three. I think they're looking at some boundaries versus overall changes. You know, we want to make clear why we thought it was important to adjourn until September. We, uh, we do feel like the process up to this point has lacked public input and public, you know, the ability of the public to look at the plans, to be able to uh, talk about how it affects their individual areas. So we felt very strongly that if we waited until we came back in September, it would give the public the opportunity to really look at this bill and to, uh, to look at the maps and decide whether, you know, what amendments they may want their members to make to the bill. In addition, it would save taxpayers money because if we were to adjourn today and not be here tomorrow on Saturday and came back September, in September when we're already here for interims, then that would be a cost savings to the taxpayers. So we, we believe there were two very important reasons why we should have adjourned. Public input to give the public the opportunity to review this plan and to save the taxpayers money. Tim, what do you think realistically is the chance that the bill will be amended substantially or at least some amendments? I think it's, I think there is a very good chance there will be some amendments adopted to this bill. I think that, uh, and that's why we think that the more time, not that we want to drag out the process, but the more time that we give the people to look at this plan, the people will help us perfect this plan. They will have input in and they know their communities, they know what works and doesn't work, and they should have some input into this plan. So I think the very fact that that, we're, that we had the two weeks in between the first session and this, that the people had some impact, some input into this, will result in some, some amendments that will make this a better bill. We think that the best amendment we could do would be 100 single member districts, and we think that's what the public wants. Are you gonna try we, that again? We are going to be making an effort to get 100 single member districts. But e even if we're not successful in that, I think there will be other amendments that will improve the bill and make the, uh, the districts more reflective of what the people want in some of these specific areas. So, um, you know, I do think there's a, a good chance there will be some substantial amendments. Uh, and I think that we, we though, if we were able to wait until we come back in September, I think we would have a better work product. We have the time to really talk to the people and come back and have some some really significant amendments that would make this a better redistricting plan. Do you see this as another rush job? Then? Well, again, I mean, I think, uh, I think, you know, if we're only going to be here three days and, and we're going to have a lot of debate to try to get into those three days, people are still drafting amendments. So I think it's going to, you know, just doing it over the next few days 
will not give us the opportunity that we really should have to take those amendments, you know, not only the bill, but the proposed amendments out to the districts and let people comment on them. And so in that sense, yes, I would prefer that we had, you know, we're, we're really only talking, only really talking about three weeks, three weeks time, but that three weeks could really be, I think, useful in making this process work the way it should work and restore confidence among the people that this was a process that was open to the public and transparent. And I think that was, that was our goal in trying to, to adjourn and come back in September.